Monday Night Raw. It was. It was a Monday Night Raw. It was alright. There's been worse. There has been worse, to be honest. But but I I got I got a secret about Monday Night Raw. I need to tell you. I'm just gonna come. I'm gonna come over here. And whisper. I haven't so. sat next to you in like months. That's. Why? Why? Why do I have to get so close? Because I don't want them to hear it. Uh, sorry, guys. The secret is... I'm back! <laughs> oh, and you killed Lana. Yeah. Your first day back and you killed Lana. Uh, uh, I'm just... <laughs> Bray Wyatt. <laughs> I'm just doing what WWE is doing. Just the right division. Uh, We're just murdering... Uh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> this is oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to the Raw Review, and welcome back, Thomas Wardle! Hey, hey, yeah. Fake applause in the post. Yeah, we, we thought we'd give this, uh, this was it me? surprise entrant thing a shot. I think we did, I think we did better than WWE. Yeah. I, th yeah. I, th I think we did a better job. We did a better surprise I think than we anything have in the Rumble. we more surprises as of right now than the Rumble had. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean legit. Thomas Wolf came back and Rusev's head fell off. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of those happened in the Rumble. You know what? You're I like how Lana just looks like she fainted after <laughs> No! Handsome Rusev. <laughs> so I'm buying Rusev, uh, like, sunglasses and a blazer. What, so, so he can be, be weak in him? No, he can be oh. handsome Rusev. I was, I was imagining because he's <laughs> lost his head, he's dead, to be like, weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, yeah, Thomas Wolf is back. Yeah, so I've been trying to come back for a while. Uh, things got in the way. I just like snow and ice. Yeah, for a minute. I and sickness and work and yeah. So I figured, hey, Royal Rumble Sunday, I can go back Monday. That's a big deal. And then the Rumble happened. Yeah, he wasn't here to talk about the Rumble. Uh, by the time this is up, you'll be able to check out how we thought about the Rumble. But you felt very similar. I wanted to smack the shit out of Vince, but then I realized that his. Bicep is about the size of me, so plus I have to book a flight, and yeah. it, it just became way more trouble than it was worth. So, yeah. so we're just gonna sit here and complain on the couch. Complain on the internet, yeah. like real wrestling fans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, though we don't have too much to complain about on Monday Night Raw, which no, I mean that's that's new for us. Yeah, <laughs> and and now Kevin Knox knows is wearing an ascot. <laughs> Because, raw. <laughs> yeah. It's about how much I care about raw. Yeah. I if, mean, you, if you want to know something right now, I'm not wearing a wrestling shirt. I'm just gonna put this out there that uh, I've decided to boycott wearing wrestling shirts during the raw review till Roman Reigns learns to calm the fuck down and know his place. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was just a shirt for vacant. <laughs> Vac Vacant's your favorite raw superstar. Yeah. Pretty uh, much. I mean, he was a former undisputed or universal champion. Yeah, he held it longer than Finn Balor did. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he held it for like a week, Damn. and then Kevin Owens stole it. Anyway, uh, hashtag yeah. vacant needs a rematch. <laughs> but <laughs> triple threat match. Just to sum up my feelings on Royal Rumble, real yeah, quick. Yeah, go for it. Because I didn't get a chance to talk. I haven't got a chance to talk about wrestling. On oh, here, I, I mean, I talk about wrestling all the time. Just, just not here. With us. Usually, people don't care. They're just like, <laughs> okay, deli guy, give me my chicken. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, why was Roman Reigns in the Royal Rumble? <laughs> but uh, a scoop of macaroni salad, please. Yeah, yeah Phil. Phil but um, I'm excited. overall, it was a great show. I think. Yeah. Until yeah. Reigns came out, and I wasn't even mad. The problem is, the worst thing any form of art, any form of entertainment can do is make me feel nothing. And from when Reigns came out onward, that's what I felt. Yeah. Like... Yeah. It's, it's crazy to think, because I felt very similarly to that, and I, I, I want to say that it makes me feel bad. That, like, I legitimately think Randy Orton is an extremely talented wrestler. Yeah. And a great character on television. But 
I just didn't care that he won the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Like, the Royal Rumble became unspecial. Well, it's it's unfortunate for Randy that we're like, oh yeah, he won, but we really just wanted him to win because that meant that Roman didn't win. Yeah, I just... Remember that the Rumble used to be used to, like, take guys who are right next to the main event spot and just give them that little extra push to make them a star. <coughs> yeah. It used to. And, I don't know, for a long time now it feels like it's fallen short of that, either because the guy they picked was already a star and didn't need it, or the guy they picked was not close enough to being a star to make the win feel big enough. And that's what I gotta say about the Royal Rumble. All right. Yay. Let's talk about the night after the Royal Rumble. Let's see what see what Raw's planning on doing. They're they're starting to build towards Fast Lane, because uh, and also WrestleMania. Yeah, and all, yeah, actually because and this is the first day on the road to WrestleMania, the Yellow Brick Road to WrestleMania. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that first. Uh, tornado tag, Enzo and Cass, really long. Unnecessary promo. Yeah, like... With God, lots of Wizard of Oz references. God damn it, Enzo. I fucking... You're like one of my favorites. You're the best on the mic, but... You dropped the ball this time, man. And then they beat Rusev and Jinder Mahal. I want to say something about Enzo real quick. Alright. When he's on, he's on. Yeah. And, like, 75% of the time, he is on. Oh, yeah. And then when he's off, he needs to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just yeah, stop. That, well, that promo felt like they were going to end it and then realized, oh, that didn't work. Let's add some more to make it work. <laughs> and it's... And then it became too much. Yeah. And like, then it just goes to cast, spell the word, please. Yeah. <laughs> cast, dear, they shut me up. Um, yeah. So, uh... Another interesting thing that we had is we had a uh, six-person tag team match. We had the uh, the team of Bailey, Cesaro, and Sheamus uh, after a group hug uh, team up to take on Charlotte and the club. Bashamo. Bashamo. Yeah. All right. Got a name for the other side? Champions. That was not clever. Nope. But it's true. Yep. Uh, yeah, and I, I guess uh, Bailey and uh, Cesaro and Sheamus thought... Gamlet? Okay, what? Gamlet? Gamlet. Gam 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 that, that works. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, they thought, hey, if we pick up a win, maybe we can get uh, more shots at, at championships. This is really just Bailey's excuse because she lost clean to Charlotte. Yeah. And she doesn't have a rematch like Cesaro and Sheamus do. But Cesaro and Sheamus are still having issues because they had issues in the tag title match and then they uh, kind of screwed each other over in the Royal Rumble. And so you know, now gotta, they're back to not trusting each other. I gotta take Cesaro's side on this one because, like, sure he was gonna swing Sheamus, but Sheamus has been hanging out with him long enough. Like, he should know. That's just what Cesaro does. He Swing sees people. someone and he swings them. He is the king of swing. Like, you just should have expected it at this point. But he tried to eliminate Cesaro. Yeah, and that's that was after the swing, though. Yeah, but, but he didn't get swung. And it was just, and like I he said, he didn't get eliminated either. They both got eliminated by Jericho. Yeah, but like I said, he should have saw the swing coming and like realized, oh, that's that's just a thing Cesaro does. Like, kind of like me punching referees. Yeah. It's, you punching referees, or are you just talking for Sheamus? Talking for Sheamus. Okay, gotcha. I was like, why are you punching referees? What if they do to you? I, you are a referee. I, sometimes I punch myself. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, sometimes yeah. there needs to be a ref bump, and they don't know it. <laughs> so you make one. So the babyface team ended up picking up the win. We had Cesaro and Sheamus take the club out on the outside. And then Bailey escaped the figure eight. And then hit the belly to Bailey and pin Charlotte. Yeah. Woo! So obviously she's got a win over the champion. So I'm sure she'll uh, be getting another shot at the women's championship very soon, probably Fastlane. 
Um, yeah, I just wish that Gallows and Anderson could win matches now that they're the champs. Yeah. Yeah, and what the, the sad part about this is that would be nice, but this match was obviously built as an interesting way for Bailey to beat Charlotte. Yeah. Yes. And say, you know what, I'm, you know, I, I may not have beat you at the pay view, but I beat you the night after, so I should get another shot. Yeah. Um, Charlotte and, will blame it on the club. Oh. Probably. Well, they lose everything, so. Exactly. Well, that's what Bailey's argument is going to be. We also saw Bailey later in the show trying to talk uh, Sasha out of a, a match because apparently Sasha wanted to face Nia Jax again. She's a glutton for punishment. Like, girl, I, why? Like, you didn't have a chance last night. Why did you try again? It, I mean, the only difference this time is that somebody rang the bell early. Yeah, what well, was with that <laughs> shit? <laughs> the referee didn't even know. Yeah. It just, that was, like, I'm going to chalk that up to... Just a, a live TV error. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, let's be real. Raw's been going on for how many years now? Uh, we're, we're coming up on... Was this 1994? Yeah, so... And I don't, know how I don't know how long Raw's been live. I don't have that uh, okay, yeah. number in my head. But let's be real. Raw's been live since like 98 ish, 99-ish. It's bound to happen at some point. Yeah. So, it's like Alex Riley accidentally getting eliminated from the Royal Rumble. When 30 guys who are all baby-oiled get themselves all over the ropes, they're bound to be slippery. Yeah. Someone's going to accidentally get eliminated. And someone's yeah, accidentally... Yeah, like the year where Stone Cold accidentally got eliminated and then came back in. And then someone's going to accidentally ring the bell just a couple seconds early. Okay, here's the theory on that now. Okay. I bet the timekeeper knew the end spot. And he was like looking at his phone and then looked up and saw the hold was being applied and thought he missed his cue. <laughs> so, rung the bell and then, yeah. Or it was the same, It no, it's the same timekeeper that rang the bell early for Undertaker trying to save Undertaker was trying to save Sasha Banks' career. Could be. Regardless, uh, yeah, Sasha lost again, and then we had that awkward moment where her, uh, Bailey, and the referee all walked slowly down the hallway into the trainer's room. Yeah. Uh, we also had some cruiserweight action. We had Tony Nese taking on Mustafa Ali, which was a really fun match to watch. Um, and after uh, a, a pretty impressive win by Tony Nese by, uh, Shoving Mustafa's feet out from under him, having him fall off the top rope, hitting the running knee in the corner. Uh, Tony Nese was met by Austin Aries up on the top of the ramp, and Austin Aries started talking some shit. Austin Aries is a dick. I uh, Wait a minute, Austin Aries was talking mad smack to Tony Nese. Yeah. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, he was. He was not Austin Aries. No, not the greatest man who ever lived. Uh, yeah, no. He's I, such a nice guy. I think I think Austin Aries uh, might be pretty close to recovered. I think we're gonna start getting some uh, some Aries action on Raw and Two Hundred Five Live. Yeah, which is uh, awesome. Uh, it's nice to know that he's you know he's his healing is coming along. He doesn't have any major issues, hopefully. Um, and then on the other side of cruiserweight action, we had Neville's coronation. Him pretty much yelling at people, telling everybody how good he was, and he told everyone he was going to win the Cruiserweight Championship, but now he's, you know, he's throwing it back at everybody's face, and Rich Swan's like, bro, chill out, shake my hand, and we'll do another match some other time. And I was like, no, motherfucker, bow to me. Yep. And Swan's like, no, and then they fought. Yeah. Um, and Neville ended up running like a bitch. Yeah, but, I don't know, Neville's... Like a king bitch, though. <laughs> king of all the, bitches. The kingiest of bitches. The, the king bitch of the cruise. King weights. bitch. Uh, speaking of bitches, Goldberg's bitch Brock Lesnar showed up on Monday Night Raw. Uh, yeah. Paul Heyman even said, like, 
he's like, oh, I don't even remember what he said, the degraded beast? The, the disgraced. Yeah. The disgraced beast. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. The, the fact that Paul Heyman did an entire promo around the words, yeah, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, yeah, but... This all led to... Yeah! But... Yeah, but <laughs> but we know where it was going. They're having a match at WrestleMania because it's never happened. Yeah, before. like that was such a good idea. Thirteen years ago, right? Like thirteen years ago, we tried. My only hope is that just Goldberg wins again. <laughs> See, and that's that's the one thing that worries me so much is that we know Brock Lesnar's track record. Yeah, like. This is going to be the one that he wins because well, yeah, he Brock has Lesnar. To, he has to win in the end, but the reason I don't want him to above anything else is even if he wants, okay, it, even if he wants, even, even if, if he, he wins, wins, it's still one Brock to Goldberg. Like, two and a half Goldberg, if you count the elimination. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a half. I mean, I don't care... Still, I won't care when WrestleMania comes around. I don't even care. Well, like, I don't even care that Goldberg is going to be here next week on Raw. Which, by the way, here means our hometown of Portland, Oregon. Yes. What if? Not on the wrestling. What rundown. if they add a unless stipulation. Goldberg? If you want to come on the wrestling rundown, you're more than welcome. Okay. What if they add the stipulation to Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg that it's going to be an ultimate X match? <laughs> then in my head I'm going to go, when did WWE buy TNA? And why isn't this a cruiserweight thing? Look, I would at least be intrigued. <laughs> I'll you, know, be in you know what just happened is... Brock will start climbing up the thing, and Goldberg will just spear the scaffolding, and it just collapses yeah. on itself. But, but since, and, if, and if Brock doesn't doesn't do a shooting star press, I don't, I don't give a fuck. But but since WWE doesn't own TNA, they would have to make it an Ultimate W match. Oh God! They have to put a pole up in the middle of the ring yeah. so that it can all connect as a big yeah. W. It's gonna get messy. Yay, Brock and Goldberg! All right. Now our overarching storyline, which was like three storylines in one, uh, which was interesting. We started with Jericho talking about how uh, Owens retained the Universal Championship. How successful they were at the Royal Rumble. You know, Jer Jericho may not have won the Rumble, but he did. He is he has now it, he's now he been won in, the, it in spirit. Yes, because he has the longest accumulative time in Royal Rumbles, and he lasted. Just over 61 minutes in the Royal Rumble. Hashtag 61 Minute Man. Uh, so he's somewhere up there in like the second or third longest yeah, run I, in any one Rumble. I'm pretty sure he's right behind Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I think, I think he might he's be, second. I think he might be number two now. It'd be rough because Bob Backlund did 61 minutes in a Rumble too. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's he's so a tough call. He's he's, yeah. he's at least top three more than likely. Uh, uh, I'm gonna look it up right now. I do it. Yeah, find, find third out. best in the world. So, uh, you know, despite you know, despite how uh, successful they were, um, one person in particular knows the repercussions for them being so successful, and that's a Brown strong man. Apparently, the smartest man on the roster, the unbrothable strowman. The the yeah, uh, the the Bronster? What was it? The was it, uh... I don't know. He's got some... A monster among men. Yeah, the, the Bronster among men. Uh, Monday Night Brawn. Yeah. Uh, Braun fucks everybody on Monday Night Raw. I don't, I don't think that's his... That's his monikers. There, there's, there's, there's a meme. It's, it's a thing. I found it on the internet. internet everything on the internet's true. Hopefully that's, just, um, hopefully that's not a red tube video. <laughs> Beard face, McFuck you all. <laughs> Uh, this man who was, who's just seemed like the most mindless beast for the longest time is fucking brilliant. 
Well, he, he remembered one thing. Not only did he remember that one thing, but he had video footage to show everybody. Yeah. Some people forget to bring footage. Yeah. Some people are just like, remember that time? Yeah, but that video was obviously photoshopped. According to Jericho. It was when uh, Owen... CGI. It was when Owen said, hey, uh, when I beat Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble, you, you'll be the next in line for a shot at the Universal Championship. Yeah. And so, Braun made sure that Kevin Owens kept the championship, and then asked, well, no, didn't ask. He demanded that he got his Universal Championship match tonight on Monday Night Raw. Ooh, that's rough. What's that? According to Wikipedia, Chris Jericho's time in the Royal Rumble was only 60 minutes, 13 seconds. What? Well, rounding up, I guess. Lie to Jay. Anyway, uh, Owens is protesting, Jericho is protesting, and then Foley comes out and says, Well, Owens, you said it, and so it's gonna happen because I said so. Um, but uh, Jericho's gonna face Sami Zayn. And he does. And he does. And he loses. Yeah. He does. Sami Zayn picking up a win over the Universal Champion. And Owens wasn't there. And Owens wasn't there because he was back talking to Stephanie going, Hey, I need out of this match with Braun Strowman. Please. Pretty and Stephanie's easy. like, Okay, I'll talk to Foley. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. I'll come find you later and we'll, f and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Bob Backlund was in the 93 Royal Rumble for one hour, one minute, ten seconds. Oh. So he's the 61 minute. Make Chris Jericho great again. Uh, but while Stephanie was planning on going and talking to Mick Foley about the championship match, she also had her face to face with Seth Rollins because of what happened at Takeover. Yeah, Seth seemed unhappy. Did he? Yeah. Is 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 that like a common thing for him? Well, when it comes to when it comes to the McMahon Helmsley family. Most people are upset with I, them. I thought Seth liked them. Last time I was here, Seth liked them. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. A lot of things have happened. There was an injury, and and then there was the whole thing about Triple H uh, like helping Owens win the Universal Championship uh, by pedigreeing Seth Rollins. Um, I guess that, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, and, the, and then there was the whole thing, like, like Stephanie... Like pretty much disowned Seth Rollins and and they picked Kevin Owens over him. So it's been it's been a weird roller coaster ride. Yeah. But now Seth Rollins is just threatening children. Yeah, it's just... because yeah, like, he's gonna find any way he possibly can to get at Triple H and Stephanie. It's just so weird. So as our little impromptu skit indicated, I haven't been here to give my thoughts on any of this. But, like, okay, so Seth's the good guy in this feud because Triple H did it. Not just that Triple H attacked him. It's Seth's the good guy because Triple H didn't help Seth Rollins cheat to win the Universal title. And then Seth, like, was mad at Triple H and Kevin Owens for doing that same thing that Seth has been doing. And at no point does he apologize or, like, indicate that he saw the error of his ways. It's just that Triple H didn't help him become Universal Champion. And so already he's on rocky grounds as a good guy. And now he's just threatening kids. Because wrestling. Also, Papa Shango was in the 1993 Royal Rumble for only 28 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Are you just going to throw, throw us Rumble facts for the rest of this video? Maybe. That's okay. about as much as he cares about Monday Night Raw. <coughs> well... Anyway, Stephanie had said earlier in this face-to-face -face that Triple H wasn't going to show up on Monday Night Raw. But once Seth Rollins decides that, hey, what's going to happen if I, you know, show up at your house and one of your kids answers the door? Seth, not only are they children, but they're all little girls. Well, I mean, Kenny Omega had that match with the little girls, so. It's Japan, it's different, it's okay over there. America, not so much. 
Okay. I'm just saying that that little girl wasn't Triple H's kid, so like, true. On top, <laughs> would you would you already said you wouldn't fly over to Connecticut to confront Vince McMahon? No, that'd be expensive. <laughs> But would you attack his granddaughter? I mean, I want it, but I'm not Seth Rollins. It's true. This is true. <laughs> but apparently Seth Rollins yeah. is like, yeah, if that's what it takes, I'm going to do it. And then that was enough to tell to make Stephanie go, by the way, I lied and Triple H is on his way here. Which was a weird thing for her to talk about, I think. Yes. Like, why did you bother telling, like, he was going to find out. Like, she wanted him to anticipate. Can you imagine, like, he shows up, Triple H shows up, and Ste- Seth's back there going, Oh, Stephanie lied to me, and I'm not even out there. I'm nowhere near the ring. I'm not going to get to see Triple H at all, because Stephanie lied to me. Also, just to clarify with Chris Jericho's time in the Rumble this yes. year, that only puts him as the fifth longest person in the Royal Rumble. Who's one of them? Uh, Triple H in 06 by three seconds. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, Bob Backlund, like I said. Mm-hmm. Benoit, the year he won the Rumble. Stevie Richards. By about a minute 15. And then Rey Mysterio. Rey, the yeah. one at, Rey Mysterio oh. has the longest time. Yeah. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, so anyway, so now Seth is anticipating uh, Triple H showing up later in the night. Uh, then we go back to Jericho and Owens, who are having issues. Jericho... Uh, isn't too keen on being out there with Braun Strowman. Owens is like, no, I really need you out there. And he's like, but you weren't out there when I had my match with Sami Zayn. And and so then they finally come to a compromise where Jericho's like, okay, fine. Fine, I'll be there. And he and decides to sit at commentary. And that does not work out. No, because Braun can easily get to that commentary yeah, like, table. That's the first thing he sees. And he's like, I'm just going to kick Jericho's whole world in. And because... just fucking shit kicks him in the chest. And then choke slams him through the table. And so... At least that one broke. It did. Roman Reigns wasn't so lucky at the Rumble. Uh, So then Braun proceeds to make his way down to ringside, where he whoops the ever-loving shit out of Kevin Owens. Owens, to his credit, tried. He tried. A little bit. Yeah. Um, But then, when you're good at something... Why not keep doing it? Roman Reigns! Yeah. Got him. Fuck everything up. He comes Ooh. out. Uh, though he did make Braun Strowman win a championship match. Yeah. Though by disqualification. Um, he then beats the crap out of Braun Strowman. And then he beats the crap out of Kevin Owens. And then he walks away. And Braun Strowman is still standing. Yeah. So... Ooh. Most likely Braun versus Roman in the near future. Yeah. Probably at Fastlane. Yeah, I'm thinking triple threat at Fastlane, possibly. That's, yeah, that's, that that has potential. Um, Plus it would make it no disqualification, so Jericho could get involved. Yeah. Um, well, and then you could do the whole, like, Owens is taken out early, Braun and Roman kind of cancel each other out, then Owens can you know, just roll in for the... yeah. But we'll have to wait and see. That's in like four weeks or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. There's way too many pay-per-views happening. Um, <clears throat> also. Okay, thank you. Rumble fact. In January 17, 1994, WWE had a Royal Rumble, a 30-man Royal Rumble at a house show that was won by Owen Hart. I feel like I knew that, but I don't remember if I knew that. And then a few months later, May 9th, in Osaka, Japan, they had an... 18 person Royal Rumble. <laughs> Who won that one? Undertaker. So he. So that wasn't his first Rumble win. No. Just they, that only, they only account. They only count the yeah. Royal Rumble wins that happened in the uh, United States. Yeah. On television that yeah. have 30 or more people in it. There's Rumble like paperwork you got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a whole. It's an official. It's a whole Rumble. packet of paper you have to sign like every single sheet and. It's yeah. It's it's a it's a long drawn out situation. That's why no one actually wants to win the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah, just, some people are just forced to do it. Yeah. So anyway, we go to the end of the night where Triple H does in fact show up, and he's none too happy with Seth Rollins. 
But he's trying to be a better person. Yeah. I feel like if there's one person in the world who's not good at being a better person, it's Triple H. Yeah. Am I wrong? Like, he's been trying to be the corporate Triple H for years now, and... You know, like, last year when he won the championship. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, you, there's other people who could be worse. Like... Donald Trump. Eh. Well, that's a... That's a whole different... Uh, well, Donald Trump was at WrestleMania, so it's kind of relevant. He was a better person then. Maybe. You know, I brought this up to you, but how does Lashley feel knowing that he won a match for Donald Trump? I, Lashley, if you're watching, comments, please. <laughs> $5 we, to my PayPal. We know you watch. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, no, uh, Triple H has, is just saying, that, you know, he tries to go to work. He tries to be the better man. He tries to be the suit and tie. He doesn't want to get involved, but then... But then he said his tie was stupid. Yeah. And little bitches like Seth Rollins make it really hard to be the nice guy. So then he takes his jacket off, takes off his stupid tie, unbuttons his shirt, and says, Seth Rollins, get your ass out of here. And Seth Rollins does. Yeah, he says, good, I was politely waiting for you to finish your promo right? before like, I Seth, came out. Right, like, Seth, what the hell? Guy. <laughs> he, just, he just wanted to make sure that he knew that Triple H <laughs> wasn't about it's like, it's like... Is that Triple H? I'm not... I can't tell. <laughs> please say... Please say Seth Rollins come out. Please say Seth Rollins come out. Please say Seth Rollins come Seth out. Seth Rollins! Get your ass out of here! <laughs> it's a weird thing to like... <laughs> this is like Royal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird to like... Want to beat up your boss... But wait till they give you their blessing. <laughs> because wrestling... Work for Stone Cold. Yeah. So and then and then Seth takes his sweet time, stands up there, takes the shirt off, stands there for a little bit longer, and then like instead of running down to fight the guy he's been wanting to get his hands on since August, he just stomps down and gets down to the bottom of the ring or bottom of the ramp and then gets blindsided by Samoa Joe. Yeah, that guy who I predicted was gonna be on Raw. So yep. and he was. Yeah, I called it right before it happened. Because yeah. he wasn't at the Rumble, and he was just sitting around at TakeOver. Samoa Joe, despite one little kick that Seth Rollins got, beats the <laughs> shit out of him. Yep. Yeah, um, Seth should have listened when they said Joe is going to kill you. Like, that's what all the chants in his NXT matches were. That was people telling Seth, like, hey, Joe is going to kill you. They were chanting it while Samoa Joe was killing him. Well, yeah. Samoa Joe is killing you. <laughs> Joe is this? currently killing you. It's an eye, Dillinger. It's my tied eye. <laughs> anyway, Seth Rollins ends up getting locked in Coquita Clutch and is left laying as Triple H walks away. Samoa Joe stands tall and Raw goes off the air. Yeah. Yay! Samoa Joe's on Raw. Yeah. An entertaining person has joined the battle. Raw needed something. That's the only thing that makes me go, man, I kind of wish I was going to Raw next week because Samoa Joe might be there. But I'm going to let Raw get a little bit better. I know Samoa Joe's not going anywhere anymore. Yeah, soon. also I'm hesitant because I feel like Joe's just going to be jobbed out to Rollins. And I, I'm i not the type of person yeah. who's jobbed out when someone just takes a loss. But I feel like someone like Samoa Joe getting called up for Rollins to beat him at he's, fast lane. He's yeah, he's gonna be Triple H's weapon until WrestleMania. Yeah. That's that's the role he's playing right now. Maybe that's just like the beginning. It's kinda like how AJ Styles had that slow yeah. start last year. Maybe this is just Joe's slow start and yeah. then we'll have him, you know, facing a returning Finn Balor, kinda reigniting yeah, the NXT it's just, thing and you know, stuff like that. The only difference is that AJ debuted at the Rumble. He didn't go through NXT or anything. Like, WWE fans know Joe is a killer, and it's just kind it's of a waste to, like, give him the slow start. Yeah, but you know, that's that's just that's how Vince does things with NXT guys. I know, like, that's why I want to go slap the shit out of him, but then I remember that... All the work that you have to do. It's, yeah, it's like, expensive, it's time-consuming. It'll be and, painful for me. And, yeah, you'll probably just get hurt. Yeah, because his... Arms are the size of a truck. 
Phones have been the size of you. You're I not, mean, they got bigger. Since, <laughs> while we were talking. Yeah. Like, raw. He's, this whole time, it's, it's just been working out. Yeah. Well, he heard me say that, and he's like, oh yeah, tough guy. <laughs> he's, he's so rich, he just had his arms cut off and replaced with trucks. That's why he doesn't show up on TV anymore. It's hard to do that strut with truck arms. Oh, man. <sighs> I miss having you on the rundown, Tom. So <laughs> do I. When am I coming back? Uh, next year at the Royal Rumble. Ah, it's so far away. I know. Surprise uh, after at number thirty. Probably next <laughs> week. Wolf. Hopefully. Yeah, we're 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 gonna hopefully keep this uh, this Monday thing a reoccurring theme. Um, you know, maybe more in the future if schedules change yeah. or you know something. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, do all the YouTube YouTube stuff. Like liking, commenting, and subscribing. Yeah. Clicking the links down in the description. There's a lot of social media links down there, so go ahead and click them all. Check out all of our reviews, our regular reviews, that being Indie News, Rob Review, Tuesday Night Live, and Midweek Round. All Check on podcast. Out all the reviews we've done. Ever. Just marathon. Ever. Them. You have the time, I'm sure. For Binge the, watch. For those of you that are only a few months old and you're watching your first episode, you don't know who Thomas Wolf is. Go back to yeah. the last time he was on those this Those infants who watch our show. Yeah. All the time, man. We don't remember when the last time he was on, so go back and find the last time. Yeah, Thomas post in the comments. Let us know the last time Thomas <laughs> Wolf was on a video. Like, post in the comments the last time he was on a video, and he'll send you a, some breath. <laughs> yeah, I give you air from. He will. Lungs. He will. He will slap you instead of Vince McMahon. <laughs> That's not the prize people want. You Are never you, know. Can, I mean, maybe. I mean, someone's like. I could get a slap that was reserved for Vince McMahon? That might be somebody's dream. Yeah. Exactly. But you um, can find him on Dream all the, big, y'all. You can find him on the social media down there. You can find us on the social media down there. Check out our other channel. That's Reasonable Wrestling Fans. Reasonable the W. Like, like wrestling. wrestling. Yeah, I'm hopefully going to be doing stuff there, too. Yeah, we're going to be, like we said, we, we're going to be posting new stuff over there. Yeah, it doesn't matter that January is almost over and we haven't started doing it yet. Hey, man, we were sick. There was weather issues. We didn't get to do a whole lot of extra videos. Yeah. I'm going to slap <laughs> the not extra videos we haven't done yet. But we want to know what types of videos you want us to do. Uh, go over and check out what we've got over there so far. If, uh, if it jogs your memory of like, hey, I'd like to see them do this. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in comments on the videos over there. And uh, we'll take some of your suggestions and we'll do some of those videos. Nothing corny, though. Yeah, we're as long as it's not, not weird. Doing We've already had that. Thomas will fuck himself, and that's yeah. about as far as we're going. But the one where I punch him, still. We're not doing that video. Speaking of Royal Rumble trivia, <laughs> you know, you wouldn't expect who's the sixth longest, most accumulative time person in the Royal Rumble of all time is. Do tell. Well... First running on the list, Jericho, obviously, is the new number one. And then Triple H. Triple H, who was before that. Then Shawn Michaels. Right. That okay, makes that makes sense. sense. Then Kane. But makes only if you keep in Fake Diesel and Isaac Yankum. Oh. Okay. As in the gimmicks. Then number five is Rey Mysterio. And that's partially because one third of his accumulative time was... One Royal Rumble. One Royal yeah. Rumble. Then the next is Cody Rhodes. Huh. How long has Cody Rhodes been in accumulative uh, three hours and eight minutes. Good job, Cody. Impressive. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Uh, actually, they'll see us. That's true. No, no, I don't watch on the video anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck Roman Reigns. <laughs>